Alright, we're back. So, Nate's out there watching Peppa Pig. Excuse me. Um, I decided to pause my makeup and do my haul real quick before I continue. And also, I just want to warn you guys. Um, like I said, I'm not feeling mentally put together right now. I'm kind of like scatterbrained and tired. And um, so, my play-by-play -play might be a little splotchy. I'm going to do my best. You know, of course, I always try my best for you guys when I make my videos. So, I just hope you get the general idea and what's going on and stuff. So, um, but yeah, I'm doing my best for you guys always. So, let me just unpack this real quick. Just get this shit out of the way. Um, so, at, at uh, Target today, they had, which is amazing for me, because VIX, they can be like $10 for a regular size jar and then like $17 for the big jar. So, I would rather get the big jar, of course, but... Instead, they had for like, let me see how much it was, it was 7 something, seven fifty nine each, and if you buy three of them, which I was going to buy two anyways just because of the price, so I bought one more, if you buy three of them, you get a $5 gift card, so I bought, one of them's opened, but I got my three Vixes, and I got a free $5 gift card for getting these, then I got Nate, um, three pairs of Ninja Turtle socks and these are like super soft and thick and fluffy and they were only a dollar you know when you walk in and it's those dollar bins Nate loves Ninja Turtles and they, so I got him three pairs of these um I got this was actually from Circle K I got a, a small thing of Bayer aspirin and some Advil PM to help me sleep and because my body hurts so bad today also, I was going to tell you guys that the first night you dance is going to kick your fucking ass. It's going to kick your ass if you're doing it right. Like, if you're working your ass off and you are really trying, oh my gosh, my first night that I ever worked, I sh shit you not, check it out. I went home with, like, take a softball, cut it in half, that size, lumps on my knees. Not from banging into anything or from anything crazy like that, simply from all the pressure from shaking my ass and being on my knees like you know doggy style position where you shake your butt so much pressure on my knees for hours and hours that it I literally was bruised my entire legs were bruised up huge bruises purple bruises you it fucks you up your back's gonna hurt your neck's gonna hurt your arms are gonna hurt everything's gonna hurt because you're gonna be doing stuff that your body's not used to but like tonight I'm not gonna dance tonight and I want to so bad but I physically can't because on top of the pain conditions I already deal with I'm so physically beat up just from all the work last night and um I danced for like two hours straight like with this guy you know on and off for two hours or so I'll tell you guys about that that's the remember I mentioned last night I was with one guy the majority of the night I'll tell you all about him um so you're not gonna probably be able to dance the next day my first night ever dancing when I woke up the next day I couldn't even walk hardly to the living room. Like, I was bent over, shuffling a little bit because it hurt so bad just because it was so different. So, don't let that discourage you. If you want to be a stripper, you want to be a dancer, you want the money, you want to, you know, be sexy, you want to be golden eye of the club, you need to stay focused that this is just one night of soreness, maybe two days, but that you will be fine in a couple days. And your body, it literally stops happening. A week after that, I never got another bruise, ever. Unless, like, I, you know, slammed my shin against the pole on accident or something. But the regular bruises, the sore body goes away. So don't give up. Just keep going if you feel like that. Like, it doesn't mean you're going to always feel like that. Because it will go away, I promise. Promise, promise. And if it doesn't, after, give it two weeks tops, come back and tell me. Because then I'm a liar. <laughs> But I promise, because I've stopped and started a bunch of times, and it definitely, it gets easier. Okay, so, I forgot what I was saying, but what else did I get? I got him that um, Ninja Turtle shirt he was wearing. There's not much going on in this bag. Um, I got myself um, a pink fluffy loofah, but I just showered my hair as wet and stuff, so it's in the bathroom. But it's just like pink, fluffy, soft, with white, like a white section and a white section. So those are like the extra exfoliating part. And I let Nate pick his own loofah. Oh my gosh. So he picked a really dope one. It's gorgeous too. 
Bathory Delicate Pad Dual Check Textures to Cleanse and Exfoliate. This two-sided buff helps cleanse and exfoliate from head to toe. Wet and apply favorite soap. Slide hand under strap and use netting to cleanse. Flip strap over and use terry side to scrub, rinse, and hang to dry. Look how gorgeous that is. How freaking gorgeous is that? It's showing up bluer on the camera, but it's more of like a greenish blue. Like, it's so pretty. And then he likes the hand strap on the back, and it says you can flip it over like so, and use it like that. So I'm really, I thought it was cute that he chose that. Um, I got two kinds of this. Studio 5, no, 35, Classic Scent. Studio 35 Beauty, Classic Scent Lotion, Cherry Almond Fragrance. Similar to the Jergens or whatever, you know, the, the standard basic Jergens. I got another one of this too. I think it's in my dance bag, actually. And I'm going to empty that out after I'm done with my mini haul. Just so you guys, I wanted you guys to actually see what I brought. You know what I mean? So you can see what I took my first night back. Um, so I got two lotions. Because they were like two for five or something. Then I got um, my e.l.f. setting spray. Remember I showed you guys this? This shit is awesome. Because not only does it set your makeup for the day, but like if you're hot, you're out, you know, somewhere and you're hot and you feel like your face is starting to get sweaty. It is a aloe, green tea, cucumber, and vitamins A, C, and E mist. So you're missing this nice, cooling, refreshing, vitamin-enriched mist on your face to cool you off. Look how tired my poor little eyes are. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I'm so sorry, guys. I feel so bad. Like, I've been looking forward to doing this all day, but I've been feeling so shitty. So, I'm finally doing it, and I'm not going to stop. Um, oh, and I got that BB cream I just used. Remember I told you guys I used the Revlon Photo Ready in Pale Light or whatever? Um, I got another one today because this is, like, all squished and practically gone. But I went for Light Medium Pale. And it's the Skin Perfector broad spectrum SPF 30. I, I like when they have like, use this wonderful new product, but this one doesn't seem to have that. It's just ingredients, I think. Let me see. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't say much. But, um, but yeah, so I got this one instead, and I'm liking it a lot more. The other one just seemed a little too pale for me. Didn't really match my powders. Um, so I got this. And I got to tell you guys what I did yesterday. Oh my gosh. It might have been the day before. It was the day before. So, I ran... Oh, throwing shit around. I ran out of my Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer, which is amazing. Amazing, amazing. So the people... I will do that in another video, probably tonight or tomorrow. The... Someone asked me my favorite, like, brushes, my favorite shadows, my favorite makeup stuff. Like, so I'm going to do that. This is my absolute favorite favorite primer I've ever used ever in my life I'm sure Mac or whatever has better ones but this is kick ass it makes your skin so smooth it hides your pores it hides your lines it mattifies your face it just is amazing so I wanted to try the other one though which is color correcting primer so it's the exact same thing but instead of being perfecting it's color correcting so it'll it'll smooth uneven tones Mm, I think it works just as good as the other one, I believe. Um, but I will probably get this one again next time. This one, just because I was more familiar with this one. But they're both amazing. So if you're asking about makeup for primer, get the Revlon Photo Ready. It's about 12 bucks, which is so cool because let me tell you what I did. Okay, so I had exactly like $22 or something like that. Like I didn't have a lot of money the day I went to go get that. But that's specifically what I went there for because I needed to get a primer. I was out of primer. I'm going to do my eyebrows while I tell you guys this. So, I... I went to CVS by my house because I had, um... No, did I already have that? No, I didn't have it yet. Okay, so I went there. I had my whatever dollars, and I needed to get cigarettes, too. So that's eight, nine dollars already gone from that money. So, I had, like, hardly any money at all so I couldn't buy $13 primer and $8 cigarettes and have enough you know so um so I was I literally stood in front of the primers for like five minutes thinking I was thinking and calculating and trying to figure out what I was going to do because it said spend $15 on Revlon products remember those are um 13 so it wouldn't have been enough but if you spend 15 on Revlon products you will get $7 extra bucks which is, anybody who goes to CVS, it's free CVS money. Like, 
it's seven dollars to spend there. You just can't buy like cigarettes with it or anything like that. Alcohol, all that kind of stuff. Stamps, you know, things like that. So, um, so I was like, oh, I need to get that extra bucks because if I get that, then I'm only gonna pay like five bucks for this primer. So, but I only have a certain amount of money and I need to get cigarettes. So I was trying to figure it out. And I was like, well, I could just walk it up to the counter, buy that and a five dollar eyeshadow and not get any cigarettes and then immediately return it and just buy the primer again with the extra bucks I just got. But I know they wouldn't let me do that, of course. You know, they're not going to let you just sit there and rip the store off. So, there is, there is a, I don't know if you guys have, hold on baby, that's rude baby, okay, please, don't be rude. They have um, avenues or streets where you live, but like where I live it's like 43rd Ave, 51st Ave. All the way to like 19th Ave, 7th Street, you know, that kind of thing. I don't know how other states work. But, um, so I went to 19th Ave from 43rd Ave. And, um, so it wasn't that far. So I went there and, um, I bought the primer and the eyeshadow at the CVS by my house. And then I took it to the other CVS with my $7 extra bucks, returned it, got my money back, went and got this primer instead of the perfecting, hi baby, instead of the perfecting mm -hmm. primer, and, um, and, 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 and magically got another seven bucks in extra bucks back too when they printed that out. So basically I spent five dollars on a thirteen dollar primer and got seven extra bucks too. So I have another seven to spend now in my wallet. So that was a really cool way to get it. Um, so... Hold on, let me just throw my eyebrows on real quick. Baby, didn't I ask you not to repeat me? Please don't do that, okay? I don't have no girls. I know you're talking to girls, but you can say your own stuff. You don't have to say what mommy's saying, okay? That airplane? Yeah. Show them, say, look at my paper airplane I made. Tell them the shape, what shapes are on there. Tell them the shape. Diamond! Oh, my shape's falling down here. Can you tell them, show them the, oh, you want to show them the diamond? Where's the diamond? I'm gonna just throw my eyebrows on real diamond quick. Diamond on eight. Diamond on eight? So if anyone wants to go grab a snack or a drink, now would be the time to do it because it's like a little boring moment. I don't want you throwing these down here because you're not gonna climb down here, okay, babe? Because too much stuff looks, you need to put back. Mommy's makeup's right there, okay? Can't be kicking stuff. Um, As soon as I get these eyebrows on, I'm gonna finish up my little haul thing. Not nice, baby. Okay? I'm not going to ask you again. It's nice. Listen, mm -hmm. Mama asked you not to repeat me, okay? Please don't be rude. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because then you're going to have to leave if you be rude, okay? Mm -hmm. Be nice. Everything I am everything strict nice. with my son. I love him to the ends of the earth. Mm -hmm. I spoil him. I tell him I love him probably, like, not even exaggerating, every 20 minutes. Like, I constantly tell him. Just because of the way I was brought up, I never want him to feel... Like, he's not loved. And I literally think how much I love him every 10 minutes. You know, like, he is amazing. So, but at the same time, I'm very strict with him as far as rules. Baby, if you throw this down here again, it's going in the trash. Okay? Do not throw them down here. Okay? I'm firm with stuff and... I think discipline's important, and I don't bend on my rules, and I stick with um, routines, and you know, if I say do that again, and that's going in the trash, and he does it again, it goes in the trash. Like, I don't I don't want him raised disrespectful. He's going to know his mom loves him, and that she deserves respect for how much she loves him, and what she does for him, and the fact that she's his mother, you know? So I'm very strict with him as far as that goes. Um, but I, I'm kind, you know, and I I say please and thank you to him constantly. Anything I say to him, you know, can I have a kiss, please? Thank you. You know, so he says it too. He's three years old and he is extremely polite. So, um, feel free to judge my parenting style if you'd like, but I really don't care because my son is going to be an amazing man when he's older. He's going to be raised amazing and respectful and kind hearted and polite and you know, knows that his mom is not fucking around when she says don't, you know, um, but, so, okay, I have half an eyebrow done, all right, so, um, 
So I got to work. I'm just going to pop around. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about work while I do my eyebrows. And then I'm going to finish my haul. Um, so I, I pulled up at the work. And the first thing in my head was like, oh, man, there's not that many fucking cars here. And obviously, you know, if there's not a lot of cars, there's not a lot of business. So I get in there. Um, I, I sit in my car. I finish my monster. I, you know, listen to the finish off my song. Text a couple people back. Um, got out. Got my shit out. You know, I brought a little makeup bag. My dance bag back here. Um, oh, my neck hurts. Um, my dance bag and my purse. And so I walked up to the door. I parked like. I don't know, 20 feet from the door, not too far. Walked up to the door, walked inside. I could already hear girls and stuff chattering. Um, because we have a patio where you can smoke. Um, and it's like, it doesn't have a ceiling, you know, obviously. It's just a probably 12 foot high wall. So you can't see anyone back there, but you can definitely hear them. So, um, I'm walking up, I walk in. And, like, I'm so close with the manager and stuff that she's super cool. She's a badass lady. Her name well, I'm not going to tell you her name just in case she doesn't want that out there, but we'll call her Candy just for the hell of it. So the manager, Candy, um, I'm super close with her, and I, I talked to one of the DJs like a month or two ago, and um, I'm going to do my eyebrows skinny today. What do you guys think? I'm going to leave them really tiny just for the hell of it. I'm not really doing anything today. I'm staying home, and I'm just going to – I finally got my weed and stuff, and I'm going to make videos for you guys and because I'm exhausted. So I just kind of want to chill at home, but I want to look cute too, you know? Um, so anyways, yeah, I walked inside and I'm close with the manager. So I, and I worked there for a, a while, like quite a while. And I've only been gone like two months. I walked in when you walk in. Okay. Here's the doors. I'm just going to draw it out of my hand real quick. There are two doors. You can open them like this. Okay. There's the doors. Here's the gated patio. And then here's like the porch and here's the parking lot over here. I'm going to get close enough to show you guys. Uh, main doors, okay? Main doors to walk in. Patio where you can smoke. And then parking lots all down here under my hand. So now I'm going to add a little more. So there's a wall after you walk in. A wall that goes around like this. And then the club's back here. So when you walk in, you walk in these doors. Uh, walk in these doors, okay? You come up this way, you, th you can hit a wall. There's posters and shit. When you come this way, it'll lead you to a door, a glass door out to the patio where you can smoke. When you go this way, you'll walk a little bit ways down. And right here are some couches, just like in the lobby. Basically, it's a lobby. There's like a snack machine and shit for like cigarettes and stuff. And um, so you walk in, there's couches. I'm just going to do little ovals for the couches. And then there is a uh, glass case full of like shirts like I smell like stripper or you got a dig bick you that read wrong you read that wrong too like a fucked up you know things like that or I'm bipolar and has two poles like you know those stupid things are bliss hats panties like merchandise basically so that's all in okay so you walk into the door boop, boop, you go this way there's the chairs and then if you go right here there's the uh the door girl the door lady she sits there in her little chair with her little book and her phone and all that. And she takes cover. Like, you know, when you, you have to pay cover to get into a club. So she, you pay her. Um, there was a couple of people standing there getting, like, I don't know, their cover paid or whatever. I don't think we need this anymore. So I just walked right in because, like, I'm accustomed to it and I'm comfortable doing it. And I know the manager and I know the girls there. And, like, I know that bitch, too, that's sitting at the counter. So I walk in, and I don't know if it's just because people were there, but she was like, can I help you? And I was like, yeah, I'm here to talk to the manager. Oh, well, do you work here? Um, no, but I did. I haven't worked here for like a month or two, but I worked here for a long time before that, and I know you. Oh, well, which manager are you to see? Um, whichever manager's here, does it really matter? Um, and she's like, well, Carla's here. And I was like, great, because Carla told me to come back whenever the fuck I want, so can I go now, you know, like, and she's like, oh, okay, so I just walked past her, and then I just blatantly ignored her the rest of the night, but I was just like, who the fuck is she, she's the fucking door girl, really, you're gonna be rude to me, and act like I can't just go up in there, whatever, whatever, um, so, went in after her stupid self, and then 
Sorry, I'm trying to get this nice and straight. Um, walked up to Carla, and she was at the bar, and I was like, hey, Carla, and she's like, oh my god, she's all excited to see me and stuff. Um, we're at 20 minutes, so I'm going to stop, and I will be right back. Okay, guys?